Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Estes. I blog at themountainviewcottage.net. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite home decor of the season, which is Christmas home decor. My house is farmhouse style, and so I have decorated my formal living and dining room, and it is all festive and ready for the holiday season. So I'm gonna share with you all the details on how I created this space and decorated everything. And I will also have a detailed post which will be in the description of this video in my on my blog that has all of the links for the products that I use so that you can create the same looks in your own home if you want to do that. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I share lots of DIY videos and farmhouse inspired decor. And if that's your jam, go ahead and subscribe because I'll have plenty more of that coming in the new year. So let's dive in, shall we? First, I'm gonna show you the dining area of my formal living dining area. It is a single room, so breaking up the space was something that was important to me so that it looks more functional and it works more functionally for our family. These shelves are a DIY that my husband and I did in January of this year. I have a full post on how to create them on my blog that I will link for you guys, so if you wanna make them, you can. They're really affordable and they're nine feet long. So you can customize them to fit any wall space in your home. And they're so fun to decorate from season to season. I have put tons of pitchers and mugs and bowls. I love to collect white ceramic ware because it is so easy to repurpose for different decor ideas from one season to the next. That's one of my core things that I keep in my home and I continue to collect because I just love them. And the baskets I got from TJ Maxx, and then I took a garland that I got from Hobby Lobby last year at their end of season sale, and I cut it up into like, I think six different pieces. I stuffed several of the pieces in those wood crates from TJ Maxx. You can see them a little closer here. And this scroll art is a DIY. I did a full video tutorial on how to make your own. I think this is probably the easiest project that I have ever shared the tutorial for. So if you're looking for a really simple and affordable DIY, this is where you should start. So you can find the video on my YouTube channel and I'll also link it in the description. These shelves, I stained a dark walnut color and I think they just add a more rustic vibe to our home and make it feel a little more warm and cozy. I contemplated painting them white, but I have so much white in my house that I love that the deep contrast that these shelves create. And as you can see, even though these shelves are huge, you really do not have to overly decorate them or decorate every square inch of them for them to create an impact, which is something I really like. And so I feel like sometimes I box myself into this corner feeling like I have to decorate every square inch of my house, when in reality, I really don't. I can focus on a few things that I really love and just run with it and leave some other areas more simplistic. So let's take a closer look at my tablescape. The red and white striped table runner is from Hobby Lobby as well as all of the garland that is um, in the center of the table. I used some old cake stands that I had and I just put some sugar on a plate and then I used some little village sets that I got at Walmart. You can get these for super cheap and I painted them white so that they fit my home decor style a little bit more. And then I used some of those cute little trees that you can get all over town. I'm pretty sure mine are also from Walmart. To create these cute little winter um, scenes on the plates for my centerpiece for the table. This was super inexpensive. I've actually had all of those th those little houses and the trees for like four years. So I didn't go out and buy anything new. These are something that I just repurposed to fit my style as it's changed a little bit over the years. And I really like how it has turned out. The napkins that you see are actually dish towels. I got those at Home Goods, and they came in a pack of four for like $5. And they had different patterns, but they were all red and white, which is kind of my theme this year is red and white. And so I just tucked them um, underneath one of the plates and a cute little bowl. And then I got these frosted berries that are bowl fillers from Hobby Lobby. And then I made the salt dough ornaments that you see, the little snowflakes. And to make them look extra white, I just added some paint to my dough mix when I was mixing it. Now let's talk about my Christmas tree. I kept my Christmas tree super duper simple this year for a couple reasons. I actually decorated it and put tons of crap on it and I didn't like it. <laughs> but I also have a one-year-old little baby girl 
who is into everything and shredding the tree is at the top of her list of favorite things to do. And so I figured it would just make everyone happy to have a simple tree because then she could do whatever she wanted with the tree and it really wouldn't matter. So I just used these um, floral picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I used some berries and some different types of frosted berries and I just shoved them all over the tree kind of until I figured that it looked okay. And that is how I did my tree this year. Nothing fancy or crazy about it. And then the presents, I wrapped with three different colors of wrapping paper. I did a red and polka dot one, a white background one, and a brown snowflake one. And then the bags are a really cool thing. They are from a shop called Gift Guard Bags. She's a, one of my local friends, her name is Dana, and she repurposes old fabric from the thrift store and she turns them into reusable gift bags. And I just totally love this concept and I also love how they add some more texture to my presents and they make them that much more special. I did a couple of fun little things for my presents by adding ornaments because then it doubles as a gift as well as makes your presents look extra pretty. I love to use different types of ribbon, so I have a satin ribbon and a burlap ribbon that I used this year. And then I also use, I had, we had a real tree last year, and this year we had a fake one, which I was a little bit sad about, but it's still beautiful, so whatever. But I took a ton of the branches from our tree last year, and I put them in a bag, and I put them in our attic. And then when I pulled them down this year, I turned them into these pretty little, like, sprigs that I added some berries to so that I could put them on the presents. So... Basically, they were free. There you have it. Now we're just gonna glide on into the living room area of this room. It is my favorite portion of this room, and if you saw my home tour from last year, which I will link in the description, you know how much this room has changed in just a year. The walls used to be light blue. We did not have the board and batten on the walls. There was a completely different couch. The mantle was painted a different color. There have been lots of changes all for the better. It's been so fun to transform the space and really just make it more me and kind of just freshen it up. And so the walls are painted farmhouse and I will link that color in the description. It's a really warm white and I just love the warmth that it adds to the room. The mantle this year, I have two antique pieces on them. The white piece, decorative piece on the mantle is from a sideboard that my grandmother gave me and I painted it with chalk paint. And the bed frame is a Jenny Lynn bed and you can see the headboard in the guest room and the footboard is hanging out on my mantle. I like to layer fun pieces together and it really just can be unconventional if you want it to be. And so that's where I went this year. And the ticking quilt you see here on the back of the couch just adds a little bit more of that pop of red that I was going for this year. And it is from my absolute favorite shop ever. I know I'm a little biased because she is my sister-in-law and my best friend in the world, Rachel from Little Bits of Everything. She makes the most beautiful quilts and farmhouse inspired pillow covers and linens for your home. Go check out her shop. She also made the red and white quilt quilted pillows that are on the couch as well as the number pillow that you will see in just a minute this little end table has an, that beautiful elk cut out from the amazing talented Catherine from Ava Berry Lane the little white wreath you see is a DIY ornament that I made the mirror is a thrift store find I painted it with Miss Mustard Seed milk paint and the mantle has some swag from good old Hobby Lobby. And then I put some frosted picks in it to make it fuller and add a little more interest. And then I also used a beaded garland that I just kind of wove through it. And then the ticking stockings are also from Rachel's shop, little bits of everything. There is that number pillow that I was talking about. And I also have that fur rug. You guys, I love rugs to layer on my couch. Like, go to the rug section and you can find some amazing textures to add to your home for super affordable. Put some rugs on your couch. You won't regret it. <laughs> um, and the big 24-inch white pillows are also from Home Goods. I like to have different size pillows on my couch to create interest and depth and just make it a little bit more fun and definitely more cozy. The board and batten that you see on the walls is also on our blog. I have a full video tutorial for how to make those. And then over here on this little table, 
I have another piece from Catherine from Ava Berry Lane. It's this beautiful snowflake. It is so pretty and so perfect for my farmhouse Christmas decor. I have another beautiful pitcher, which, you know, I love pitchers. This one has some pine needles that I got from Hobby Lobby. Here's just a closer look at my mantle once again. You can see the different layers of picks and berries and pine needles that I have from Hobby Lobby. And you can just see that old patina on the Jenny Lynn bed frame. You guys, this was a $20 thrift store find. Amazing, you guys. Amazing. And these stockings are super simple, but I love them for being that way. I feel like you can get all these fancy dancy like fur stockings and go crazy, but sometimes simple is better. And I think that's something that I'm going to try and rein in this next year is simple is better. And the beaded garland adds a little bit more texture to my mantle. It's wood beads that I got from Hobby Lobby. And here's a closer look at this end table so the books are just regular books that I covered with brown packing paper and then I use my silhouette to cut out the Christmas titles and then I just transferred them to the spines this candle is from an amazing company called hazel candle company and it is called fireside it smells absolutely amazing the packaging for their candles is insane you have to go check them out on Instagram they also just started doing wax melts which if you follow my insta stories you know I love this picture has some pretty pine needles and then I have a couple thrift store finds that are layered in the back Here's a closer look at the pillows and the fabric that is on my sofa. There is that fuzzy, furry rug that I was talking about. I'm serious. Go find some rugs that you can lay around in your home. And then the beautiful pillows that Rachel made me, these quilted star ones, are so beautiful. And they just fit the farmhouse vibe that I'm going for. And I like to layer different kinds of pillows so I don't have all the same matchy matchy pillows on my couch, which is my favorite way to do it. I have a few that match and then several that don't, but they're all kind of in that really soft white creamy color scheme with pops of red. And then this is a beautiful rug that I got from Rugs USA. Their rugs are amazing and they usually have like 75 or 90% off sales. And this is a natural texture one that just adds a lot of texture to the space. Moving to the other side of the room, you can see the sideboard. The top piece is the thing that is on my mantle. And I also painted this with chalk paint. I used the Amy Howard chalk paint, which I got from Ace Hardware. And I really like that brand of chalk paint. I used the color Bajas Buff. And then I just have layered lots of fun things on this table to create lots of interest. I have several baskets. The yardstick basket, basket is from Decor Steels. They are a really awesome online shop that has tons of farmhouse inspired decor and they have steals every single day. And I got those in a set of three from them. The beautiful round is from Ava Berry Lane, my dear Catherine. And usually she monograms these so that they have a letter or a word cut out of them. But I told her I wanted one that didn't have anything on it so that I could use it solely to layer in my home. And I just love the way that it looks with the birch and then the rustic chippy white. It is so beautiful. And then I have a little basket. I don't even remember where I got that from this point. I've had it so long. And then the big brown piece of wood in the back, you guys, I made that. And I videoed it. And it is seriously, if you look up close, it is so wonky. But it's okay. I'm not going to show you the tutorial because I totally butchered it. But the end result is what I was going for. I wanted a piece that I could layer that was you know, nice and deep and rustic that I could layer behind things that was larger for my mantle and my tablescapes and such. And I got it. But if you look really close, it's kind of it's kind of wonky, but whatever. That is life. Not all DIYs turn out perfectly, and that is okay. I also just use a little spool of twine to add some interest, and then that picture is actually a legitimate ironstone piece, which I love and adore. Rachel gave it to me for my birthday one year. She's just a girl who gets me, you guys. She gets me. The wood pieces in front of the round are corbels from Home Depot, and I just painted them with Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in the color Ironstone and distressed them. The um, baskets, oh my gosh, guys. 
Okay, if you watched my last video decor with my Christmas bedroom tour, you already heard that rant about baskets, so I will spare you in this video. But I love baskets because they come in so many different textures. They're super affordable, and when you add them to your home, they can create so much interest because you can have a wire basket, you can have a yardstick basket, you can have a woven basket, all kinds of baskets. Okay, I just did it again, I'm sorry. Baskets are the bomb, I love baskets, whatever. Get some freaking baskets into your life today. This is pretty much it for my Christmas home tour, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, go over and do it. I have so many fun things planned for the new year for this channel. All of them will be farmhouse inspired DIY and decor videos here and on my blog. So please stay tuned and hang out with me as we dive into the new year. I'm so excited for the new things and the fun, exciting stuff that is happening. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have an absolutely wonderful day.